Hey there, welcome to my office. My name is Gentry Heimerman. I am the Director of Young Adult Ministry for the Diocese of Dodge City, and I'm also a part of the Diocesan Vocations team. You are receiving this very first Vocations Brigade newsletter and email because you are a part of one of the parish ministry teams, and I want to first of all thank you for that. Bishop John set in motion this, this initiative to have a Vocations Ministry team at every parish to help build up a culture of vocational discernment in our diocese. So thanks for being a part of that mission, thanks for being a part of the team, to whatever capacity that may be. This newsletter is to help keep all of us sort of on the same page so that we know what's coming up in terms of vocations in the Diocese of Dodge City, and also a way to look back at some events that have taken place, to see what was fruitful, to see what we could improve upon, and ultimately to just move together on this journey. In the first section of the newsletter, you'll see what's coming up. And the first thing to mention there is a trip to Conception Seminary that's supposed to take place this weekend. We have at least two guys who want to go, but unfortunately we do not have an adult chaperone in place to drive them there. So if you know someone or if you are willing and able to drive these two guys to go visit the seminary, to see what it's like, to pray with the men there, uh, please let me know. Uh, contact me any way you want and we'll work out the details together. The next thing is Carson's Diaconate Ordination, which is planned for June 1. You'll see there both a link to a PDF version that could be printed, English-Spanish to put in your bulletin or something like that. Also some JPEGs that work better digitally, so if you're going to post them to your social media accounts, or even better, if you're going to text an image directly to a person to invite them, uh, that would be the one to use. Again, both English and Spanish. So please, I encourage you to go. I encourage you to find other people in your parish who you'd like to bring along to attend this event to pray for Carson and to pray for our whole diocese. The next section is the Just Happened section, where you'll see things that have just happened in relation to vocations in the diocese. The first one there is a trip to the seminary in Wichita that I took last week with three guys, uh, as well as Father John. And uh, it was a blast. We had a good time together. They had this chance to see the seminary in action, to see the seminarians there and how they relate to one another. And I think they were drawn to that. It's pretty rare for them to see 33 young adult men uh, praying together and then sharing a meal and enjoying each other's company. So I think that was impressive to them, and I also think that there were some, some misconceptions that were dispelled. One of the boys mentioned that he thought that going to seminary meant you had to be a priest. Of course, that's not true. You go to seminary to discern whether or not God is calling you to be a priest. So some of those things that they, they didn't quite understand about seminary were, were put to rest, and I think they enjoyed it. So it was a great trip. I plan to do it again in the fall. Stay tuned for details on that as they come about, and hopefully we'll have a bigger group to go then. Below that are some of the other recent events that various parishes have put on to support vocations in the diocese. And I know there are many things that have happened that are not listed there. My hope is to continue to build that out as people send things to me that they've done or as they send them to Dave to put in the newspaper. So you can read about those things more in the newspaper and get a better idea of what might work at your own parish, at your own place. So hopefully we'll continue to build up a, a collection of ideas and be able to build upon those ideas together. In the last section, you'll see a long table with every parish listed and a green check mark next to it if we know of a parish ministry team established at that location. If there's not a green check mark, it's because we don't know of one existing there yet. So my goal and my hope, first of all, would be to fill the whole thing with green check marks and then after that, to open some form of communication between the parish leaders at those, at those locations, if they're willing, so that collaboration could take place more readily, more easily. And below all of that, you'll see some links to some important things that are vocations related that kind of are going on throughout the year. So all of that is there for you in the Vocations Brigade newsletter. I, I'm glad to have you on board, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.